It is customary to stand and face the flag to reaffirm our allegiance for freedoms and privileges we experience every day. Please respectfully stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. No! Aww. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Jack. And, and you're, you're watching, watching The, the Forecast. forecast. a general informational session for students interested in Reserve Officer Training Corp programs on Thursday, October 31st during fourth period in the Career Center. Students can come to the counseling office and obtain a pass for this session. Please see Ms. Garris if you have any questions regarding this event. Reminder to mock trial participants that we will meet this Thursday, October 31st after school in room A302 for a one hour practice. There will be a business professionals meeting Thursday after school or Friday morning for all members to start selecting contests for the upcoming competitions. All members must attend one of the two options. New members are welcome. The yearbook spring supplements are here. Stop by the comments during lunch and pick up your spring supplement from last year. Also, the yearbook staff is looking for pictures of what you did over the summer. Submit your pictures to evhscandids at gmail.com. And you can order your yearbook today. Navigate to the EVHS homepage and click on yearbook info. The boys' soccer team is in the state finals for the third year in a row. Here is a team member. So we are here with Jack, Jack Teske, WCCO Athlete of the Week, Mr. Clark. How does it feel to be going to state the final three years in a row? Uh, obviously it feels amazing. We love it. Uh, we work hard for every single year. Uh, and uh, to be in it again this year is just amazing, and hopefully we can uh, bring it home. What was going through your head when taking the last PK? Uh, well, obviously, I was, I was really nervous, um, considering I would have been the last one, one of the last ones. Um, and I was just trying to calm myself down, and then once I got up there, I just told myself I'm going to make it, and uh, I convinced myself, so luckily I did. Okay, so what should you be wearing to the game? Uh, wear blue, for sure blue, please. Uh, and then you can wear a Halloween costume if you want. It is Halloween, but for sure blue. Okay, so Eastview, come cheer on Jack Teske and the boys' soccer team and wear blue. Halloween is tomorrow, so the forecast wanted to see what everyone has planned. I haven't trick-or-treated in a while, Hell no. I do not still trick-or-treat. I go trick-or-treating with LDT for canned goods. What I do on Halloween is I usually watch scary movies. Uh, just kind of have a marathon of scary movies. I typically go around with my friend Mason Swain and steal kids candies. Um, usually I either stay inside and help pass out candy or I go to some friend's house. I dress up as something, probably be a princess. Here I'm dressing up as Jasmine from the Disney's Aladdin. Uh, this year probably something like a witch. We always bake a pumpkin pie. Traditions that we usually do or we have that are like just carving pumpkins or watching movies and stuff. Sweet. Today's knitting club is canceled. They will meet on Thursday, October 31st in C331 at 235 for all knitters that can make it. Sorry for the last minute change. That's all we have for you today, Eastview. Tune in tomorrow for a special Halloween edition of The Flash. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Jack. Wait, wait. That was, bye. That was weird. I'm not Caitlin. That was weird. That's.